Banished to Tarleton's brutality was justified. He had proper surroundings that influenced his decisions, and his savagery was not only legitimate in the face of war, but encouraged by his soldiers and fellow commanders. Even though there were two polar opposite views about him, Tarleton made a name for himself in both the American and the British armies. His most famous battle, the Battle of Waxhaws, is what he is best known for and when he made his mark on the Revolutionary War. First of all, his barbarism had not come out of nowhere. When Bannister Tarleton was a young boy in England, his father, John Tarleton, was the former mayor of Liverpool, a merchant, a moneylender, and a slave trader. Young Tarleton grew up in an environment that was built off the financial gain of slavery, so he was used to harshness towards people and knew how proper training could make people extremely tough. His father was a strong leader and that influenced Tarleton to become such an imposing colonel. Bannister grew up observing the effects of self-achieved victory and the outcome of that would later show in his military career. Even before he was a colonel, he stuck out from the rest of the soldiers and came to be known for his speed, daring, and surprise. In 1778, he reverted to his rank of captain, and the same year was promoted to lieutenant colonel of the British cavalry after strategizing and leading the capture of General Charles Lee and proving his worth on the battlefield. Bannister Charlton was also encouraged and supported while fighting amidst the Americans. His cavalry, the Green Dragons, were praised among Britain's ranks for their skill. When mentioned, his name was spoken with reverence for his bravery. He was so effective in battle that General Charles Cornwallis wrote, I wish you would get three legions and divide yourself into three parts. We can do no good without you. His biggest impact on the war was during the Battle of Waxhaws. Bannister Tarleton led the British Army in Lancaster, South Carolina in a head-on battle versus the Americans. From the merciless Battle of Waxhaws spawned the term Tarleton's Quarter, which in the eyes of the Patriots meant a brutal death at the hands of a cowardly foe. Bannister's actions at the Battle of Waxhaws earned him the unique titles of the most hated officer in America and Bloody Tarleton. But Bannister was so effective in battle that the colonists lost 316 men total, while the British losses totaled 50, including the horses. Many people say he was a vile and merciless man, but Bannister Tarleton is simply fighting alongside his fellow soldiers. Because people don't just frolic in the meadows in the middle of the battle, they fight for their lives and for their cause, or their dead. To survive, soldiers have to use the advantages and training they have, and Bannister Tarleton happened to have excellent discipline and training. And fighting alongside him happened to be a cavalry train specifically for his purposes. There are records of him striking down all the colonists after they surrendered, but Tarleton was most likely just being cautious. Other accounts say that one of the American tricks were that they would pretend to surrender, then retrieve their weapons and eliminate the enemy. It may be that the colonists attempted such a move, and the British were forced to strike them down. It is also reported that after the battle, the wounded on both sides were treated fairly and not struck down like their comrades, which showed that Tarleton did not kill every colonist he saw. In conclusion, Bannister Tarleton, the Vietas barbaric by the colonists, was one of the greatest soldiers in the British army. He may have been a strict colonel and a harsh soldier, but he was simply another Englishman fighting for what he believed in. 